What's up everybody? My name is Diego Guimet. I'm a civil engineer in training from Canada working in the US. And today I'm going to show you how to work in the US with a TN visa as a young engineer. Now the reason why I want to make this video is because I want young engineers and young engineers to be, aka engineering students, to know that we don't need to limit ourselves to the options within Canada. It is very simple to start working in the US with this TN visa. Without further ado, let's get into the breakdown for the video. Actually, one more thing before we get into the breakdown. Given the circumstances and everything that's going on in the world right now, the US has temporarily suspended all of the, the visa uh, stuff for people to come work in the US. This will get lifted once this goes away. But in the meantime, it's a good time for you to know what options are gonna be out there for when all of this is a thing of the past and you're ready to start applying for your next job. So these are the five topics that we're gonna be focusing on in this video. TN visa, eligibility, the documentation, the procedure, and the fifth thing is gonna be the fine print. So the TN visa, why the TN visa, right? There's at least other three visas that you can choose from in order for you to come here to work in the US. This visa lasts for a maximum of three years and it can be renewed indefinitely after. This is the visa that I currently have. Now, this visa has a lot of versatility because you can always return to Canada after three years or six or, you know, five, whichever amount of time. But the one thing to remember is that you can only work in the US for the duration of your visa. Meaning that if you get laid off or you decide to quit your job, you cannot longer work in the US. Of course, you can always apply for another TN visa and then you would be able to work in the US again. Moving on to eligibility. First things first, you're a Canadian citizen, you're good to go in that category. Second thing, you need to meet one of the professions that is listed under the TN agreement. Now, as an engineer, I've already checked and I'm living proof of this myself that engineering is one of the listed professions. The other thing that you need in order to be eligible for this TN visa is, of course, you need a signed offer letter from a US employer. Now, to be honest, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. And I say that because, like anything, finding a job is quite difficult. It's not the easiest process and sometimes you need to apply to 20 jobs before you get one call. So, I understand that and finding a job in the US versus Canada has the same process, the same concepts apply. If you've ever gotten a summer internship or a co-op term, then you know exactly what you need to do in order to get a job. And the same concepts apply for getting a job abroad. Moving on to documentation. You will need to have a proof of citizenship, your degree, a job offer, and a job description. Now I wanna talk a little bit more about the job description because when you ask your employer for this, you need to make sure that this description includes your tasks and responsibilities and you gotta make sure that these match the duties of the profession. I didn't have any problem with this. The job description that I saw online was basically what they included in this letter and you know, the field review that I do and the calculation checks that I do are all within the scope of the profession of engineering. And it's okay if you are an EIT. Moving on to the procedure. All right, so this is the fun part because it's very short and it's very easy. So you're gonna gather all of your documents and you're gonna go to an authorized port of entry. Now this can be an airport or it can be a border crossing. Here you will present all of your paperwork and you will have a conversation with an officer and explain how you're qualified for the job. This is not difficult, it's nothing to be scared about. You just need to know your job and what it is that you're gonna be doing. Once you're done talking with the officer, you will have a new stamp in your passport as well as your new TN visa. And ta-da, congratulations, you now have a TN visa. So that's it for getting the TN visa. And as you can see, it's not a long process. It's not a complicated process. And now we're gonna go into the fine print. All right, so for the fine print, you know, there's definitely more stuff that goes in the background, behind the scenes, behind the cameras for all of this work in the US deal. There's logistics, like for example, you are no longer living in Canada, so you're trying to find a place here in the US. And with that comes banking. So what I recommend is that you open a cross-border account in order for you to get paid in US dollars 
and be able to transfer that money into the Canadian account. Now, what this cross-border banking does is banks like TD and RBC have their American branches and they also have their Canadian branches. So what ends up happening, they link these two in the website. At least that's how they do it in TD. And you're able to very simply transfer your funds from one account to the other. And the exchange rate is pretty good. I cannot complain. Earning in American dollars and paying my loans in Canadian. It's just like, give me that 0.3 every day, right? Now, the other thing that you're gonna wanna consider when you're moving is your relationships. If you're moving to the US, it's a big change. It's, a, it's something that is definitely gonna have an impact in your friendships, your relationships, if you have a significant other, and your family. You gotta make sure that you just communicate so that everybody is aware of the change that you're planning to make and you know, there's no surprises because nobody loves surprises like that. And that's it, you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. It really means a lot. As you can see in my channel, this is the first video that I've ever published. So I was really excited about this and I was really wanting to share as much information as I could with you so that, like I said at the beginning, you have a bigger pool of options once the jobs start cranking up again. So I hope you learned something from this. If you like this video, please give your finger a nice quarantine workout, curl it, and click the like button. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next. Let's stay connected. I'm super excited to keep getting to know you and keep answering your questions. I think that having been in engineering so recently, I still have a very fresh mind about what it was like to be in engineering and you know all the challenges that come with it. So please let me know. I'd be happy to help you. And till next time, catch you later.